Okay, guys, so in this video, I'm going to distinguish the difference between pathology and etiology. So let's go through the examples and definitions very quickly. So pathology is actually a study of the diseased state. So what do we mean by that? So let's say you're an oncologist and you have been given a tissue of, um, of a patient and you, you uh, under a microscope, under histological comparison, you have actually found out that there is a different um, between the normal tissue and a disease tissue. So there you have are actually studying the disease state. So you're going to, for example, compare, compare the mitosis state or you're going to compare how these different cells, um, normal cells, versus like cancer cells, look like under the microscope. So this would be under histological comparison. So you are not really caring about the cause. You're just studying the already existent mutation of whatever the disease the person has. Etiology is a bit different. So that's actually a study of the cause of a disease. A study the um, the reason the um, normal tissue is different to the cancer cells. What is actually caused that to occur? So there are many many different things for the etiology to occur. So for example, again, how did the how did the one actually got the cancer? So one would go and test the genetic testing. You know, does the patient um, have a genetic um, you know run over the family that they are exposed to cancer or you're going to understand or examine his or her lifestyle, you know, how what, did he really live the normal lifestyle? Did he exercise normally or was he like junk, was eating junk food every time? You know what I mean? Furthermore, you're going to um, do the exogenous or environmental effect, you know, was the guy exposed to carcinogens such as, I don't know, nicotine from the smoke, you know, was he exposed to a lot of pollution, was living in that kind of countries. You know, then we're going to examine the endogenous factors such as age, you know, or hormone. Does the guy have a regular hormone? Does he not have a regular hormone? Or how was he old? Of course, if that guy was old enough, you know, as you age, the chances of cancer would increase. So really, that is the main distinction. Pathology, you really you really don't care about what caused, what caused abnormal activity inside the thing. Not abnormal, but what caused that abnormal activity to arise in the cell. By etiology, you are caring about the actual reason that abnormal activity was arising or causal abnormal activity, and that's it. So I hope you guys find this video beneficial. Thank you.